look at the case of two ships of almost the same size passing each other. When the bows of the two ships come closer within the mutual hydrodynamic range, a strong repulsive force at the midships and bow outward moment are created. Alternatively, strong suction at the midships and bow inward moment are produced between two ships when they come abeam of each other. When the sterns of the two ships pass each other, these effects are transformed into repulsive force and bow outward moment. These effects of extra force and moment fade away quickly as the distance between the two ships increases. Almost equals ship's breadth. The effects will be like these when the bow of ship A overtakes the stern of ship B. When ship A advances a third to a quarter of its length from the stern of ship B in parallel, the effects change like this. When two ships run abreast, strong suction at the midships and bow outward moments are generated between them. The effects will be like this when the bow of ship A advances ahead of ship B, but one third to one quarter of their hulls remain parallel. The effect will be like this when the stern of overtaking ship A comes abeam of the bow of ship B.